and welcome back to Betty. I'm your host, Cynthia Thompson. And do I have a treat for you tonight? I have a very special guest with me. We're going to talk about something that we all need to do. Have a place to stay. Where are we going to live? Is it an apartment or is it a house? Well, my guest is the real estate manager for the city of Charlotte. His name is Tony. Tony, thank you for joining me today. My pleasure. I'm glad to be here. You know, before I get started with all of my questions for you, tell me a little bit about yourself. Sure, sure. So I've been uh, with the city of Charlotte for uh, six years now. Mm. Uh, I've been in Charlotte for almost 25 years. Uh -huh. So I'm almost a uh, native. Charlatan. Almost a native. Almost native Charlatan. <laughs> uh, but I moved from the West Coast, from uh -huh. California. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but you know, nothing better than uh, to be living in Charlotte. It's oh, a great yes. time to be here. It's a great city, too. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell me, when people think about real estate, they think about buying and selling houses, but it's so much more than that. What does real estate mean to you? Real estate is a great profession. Uh -huh. Because uh, you, you're always learning. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of information out there that always adding value, whether you're buying or selling. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you have a lot of different sectors. So uh -huh. you have commercial, you have residential, you have industrial, you have different sectors within the commercial business. So huh. there's a lot of different things and a lot of different specialization. Uh -huh. um, and um, it's a great career to be in. Wow, so commercial, homeowners, industrial, Wow, uh, does, is commercial and industrial the same thing, or is that two different things? Well, so the commercial sector, so really what you have, you have residential and commercial. Those uh -huh. are the two main sectors. Within uh -huh. the commercial, you have industrial, you have multifamily, ah. you have retail, and you have office. These are the okay. four main criteria or four main sectors oh, under okay. the commercial business. And then, obviously, you have subsector of that, so mm -hmm. you have senior housing, you have student housing, you have hmm. uh, mini storage uh, spe specialization. There are a lot of different specialties wow. within the commercial business. Uh -huh. So it's a very, uh, you know, uh, healthcare, for example, uh -huh. that's a growing sector as, uh, you know, the, um, the population in the U.S. start to age and uh -huh. uh, more demand on healthcare. So more demand on that sector. You know, you're right. I hadn't even thought about it that way, right. real estate. Right. You know, because most people think about it just buying a house or selling one, right? Definitely. That's, <laughs> the, that's the most common one. That's the most common one. And in Charlotte, we, we are lucky. There are a lot of homes that have been sold mm -hmm. and bought. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in the last year in Charlotte by uh -huh. itself, Almost fifty thousand homes got bought Whoa. and sold. So a lot of a lot of activities, a lot of transactions, uh -huh. and uh, good time to be in the business. Mm -hmm. You know, we we're talking about buildings where people can live, stay, or do business in. What about land? How does that work as a part of real estate? Just raw land. Everything has to be on the land, whether it's commercial, <laughs> industrial, <laughs> residential uh, land, and land is uh, you know very limited resource. Uh -huh. So as the city grow and we have more activities, more development, mm -hmm. the value of land keep going up, and as you know, the closer you get to the core, to the urban core around uptown Charlotte, mm -hmm. the more expensive it is. Yes. That's why you see many developers are always looking for mm -hmm. land around. Uh, around uh, mm -hmm. this area in town. Do you find that most uh, real estate agents, people that sell real estate, do they sell more property or land now? Well, uh, you know, it depends on, uh, obviously, uh, the sector that you're in. Mm. So there are uh, brokers who specialize just in land sale. And they typically deal huh. with developers. Because uh -huh. as a developer, what you're looking for is to get a piece of land so you can put a product on. So that product can be apartment building. Uh -huh. That product can be a mini storage unit. Uh -huh. That product can be a warehouse. Huh. It can be a strip center, retail uh -huh. strip center. Uh, it can be a hospital. Mm -hmm. So it all starts with the land. Mm. And that's where the developers come in. Uh -huh. So uh, land, uh, as cities start to, you know, uh, to have more activities, more commercial development, uh -huh. land comes with a high price. Wow, you give me a lot to think about. And with that, Tony, let's take a short break and we're going to come back. I got some more questions for you. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs>
When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified. Not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who do something, the people who take action, are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making home affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, and welcome back to Betty. I'm your host, Cynthia Thompson. I'm here talking with Tony, the real estate division manager for the city of Charlotte. And I'm just blown away about the world of real estate. You know, because I know very little about it, I just own a little home and that's it. Yeah. But it's so much more than that. Let's talk about some of the different jobs that you can have as in real estate. Now, the first one that everybody knows is a real estate agent. What does it take to become one? Well, there is uh, a process where you go and you get a brokerage license. Uh -huh. In North Carolina, there are steps to get into uh, to be a broker. Uh, to be a broker. Uh -huh. So um, you start first by taking, um, you know, about four months worth of training, mm -hmm. where you learn all about uh, real estate law. Uh, oh. Real estate um, uh, guidelines, finance. Uh -huh. uh, you get to, to learn about marketing. Mm -hmm. You get to learn about zoning and entitlement. Mm. You get to learn about building and building mm -hmm. standards. So uh, many people think, you know, it's easy. I'll just go sell a house or yeah. buy a house. It's much more involved. Mm. Uh, and there are many rules and regulation uh, in the North Carolina and the state. North Carolina a Commission, Real Estate Commission, uh -huh. put a lot of rules and regulation to protect the consumer. Oh. So, uh, so after the training for a few months, then you, you sit for an exam. Once you pass the exam, you go uh, and get a state exam. And once you get the another state, one, of course, and once because you want you to be prepared. And once you pass the state exam, uh -huh. then to be you will be a provisional broker. Uh -huh. And that means you have to be under the supervision of a broker in charge. So tell me, a real estate agent and a broker, they're the same thing? Well, in North Carolina, there is no a real estate agent designation versus a broker. Ah. It's typically a provisional broker, uh -huh. and then you have after your provisional broker, you pass all these exams I was, tell, I was telling you about. Uh -huh. uh, you have to spend 90 hours of training within uh, three years. Uh -huh. um, you take classes, 90 hours of classes, and you take tests, more tests, and then you become a full broker. And if you're a full broker, then you don't have to... Uh, Do anything else. Well, you don't have to be under the supervision oh. of a broker, <laughs> uh, of a broker uh, in charge. Uh -huh. You can then, you can open your own company or you can do you know your own transaction without a super direct supervision from a broker in wow. charge. Wow, I thought an agent and broker were two different things. In North Carolina it's a little bit different because you got the provisional uh, and the broker. Uh -huh. uh, we don't have a sales agent and in other states they call them sales agent. Here oh, it's either a provisional okay. broker or a broker. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know earlier before we went on break, you mentioned developer. What exactly is a developer in real estate? Everything we do requires a developer. So, uh, for example, if you, uh, you, you know, you're, uh, you're in a hotel room, mm -hmm. somebody has to build it. If you're in a hospital, God forbid, somebody has to, to build it. Uh -huh. uh, if, you're in a, if you're in an apartment, somebody has to build it. So a developer who is someone that will bring the final product online. So like an architect? Well, architect is one function of the development. Oh. So the developer is the one taking all the risk and he will get the return, meaning he's ah. the one that will buy the land, 
He will work with the municipal government on mm -hmm. entitlement and zoning. Mm -hmm. And that means basically he will get permission, if you will, to build certain product in uh -huh. that certain area of town based on certain criteria, based on area plan uh -huh. for this area. Um, and he will work with a lender to get money to do the development. He will Whoa. work with engineers to do site plans uh -huh. and put, uh, you know, uh, sewer and water uh, within the development. Uh -huh. And then he's the one that work with the construction uh, person to build the project. Uh, so you can, you can build uh, as small as an office building that's one uh -huh. story or you can build a 50-story building like the corporate center yeah, the in, one downtown. in downtown. So Whoa. there's a lot of different, even within the development uh -huh. community, there is specialization, there is expertise, mm -hmm. and uh, there is um, uh, a lot of things to, to learn. Uh -huh. um, and as you can see, you always have many people involved in the process. That's what it sounds like. Uh, so you know, if you're developing a project, you have to be, you have to involve an architect. You have to involve engineers. You have to involve city government. You have to involve lending. A lot of a lot of it's a team a team yes. environment to, to finish huh. with a project or a product uh -huh. that you see, uh, say in uptown or anywhere else. Huh. <coughs> so after all this is done. Your building is up, right. like the high-rise downtown. I'm assuming you have a property manager? You have to have a property manager. And what do they do? Then they will manage the day-to-day -day activity. Uh -huh. So uh, let's take an example of the corporate center in Uptown, 64-story mm -hmm. high. You have to have a team of property managers to manage uh, all the relationship with the tenant. In, uh -huh. inside that building. That building is not just occupied by Bank of America. It's occupied by Bank of America and many other firms mm -hmm, and companies. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they have to deal with uh, cleaning issues, security issues, HVAC issues, Ooh. roofing issues, uh, elevators, uh, functionality. Uh, they will deal with all tenant concern on a day-to-day -day basis, and this is a very difficult job. I, I bet <laughs> so. <laughs> because they hear a lot of complaints, that's why. <laughs> yes, the air is not yes. working, yes. so they go to the property but manager. it's a very important Ooh. job. Very so important do you need to have a real estate license in order to be a property manager? Most cases they do, because, again, mm. there's a lot of rules and regulation uh -huh. that dictate and a dictate their day-to-day -day work. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, what's involved in real estate and what people don't really uh, have grasp of, there's a lot of legal, mm -hmm. legal implication. Mm -hmm. So you don't sell a house without an attorney. Mm -hmm. You don't mm -hmm. buy a house without an attorney. Mm -hmm. Same thing, you do not do a, any type of real estate transaction because you're transferring title. Of, uh, of, of, of a piece of land or a building or what have hmm. you, have to have, uh, you have to have legal involvement. You know, that kind of goes into the next role that I've heard about is the lender. What do they exactly do to take care of all the finances? I'm all assuming. The finance, all the finances, all the money, and uh -huh. that's a huge business. Mm -hmm. That's a huge business because they are the one who kind of coordinate the financing of the project. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So... Real estate is an expensive process, mm -hmm. okay? So it doesn't matter if it's a small condo or it's a big development, uh -huh. it requires money. Where is the money gonna come from? Banks, mm -hmm. uh, investment companies, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes government if it's mm -hmm. coming through bond. So somebody has to coordinate all this activity and that's the lender. Yes. You know, that reminds me, when I bought my house years ago, I was so nervous and scared because I was by myself. Sure. And there were so many people there. There's so many papers to sign. Many papers. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's the largest, asset, it's the largest uh, investment uh -huh. uh, for any uh, citizen, uh, you know, in their daily life, in their life, mm -hmm. basically, their house. Mm -hmm. That's the largest investment. Mm -hmm. That's why... It's important to have the professional do the work. Right. So whether it's uh, you know a broker, real estate broker, to coordinate the activities and find the right house. But it's not many people think broker is just to find the house. Uh -huh. There's a lot of work involved 
beside mm -hmm. finding the house. All the legal paperwork, mm -hmm. all the title search to be sure that you're buying a property that is not owned by <gasps> where after you move in, somebody says, wait a minute, this is my house. <laughs> so title, title search, title work, uh -huh. so you have to have the legal and the title companies. Uh -huh. Real estate is a huge business. It huge sounds business. like it. A lot of people involved, a lot of money involved, but it is an engine. Uh -huh. uh, that's why in 2008, when we had the recession, yes. the recession came through real estate. Mm -hmm. It's a big business. Mm. So that's why it's, a, you know, a, people get nervous, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, when things are very good and when things are very bad uh -huh. because the Im implication of it. Yes. yes. It, it touches a lot of different industry, uh -huh. construction, lending, brokerage, uh, title companies, mm -hmm. legal touches a lot of different professions. Wow. Yes. I did not realize that. You know what? Let's take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk some more about this. You have really... I don't remember how it started. Going to that. Oh Our back and forth. It always came back. Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. Staying healthy and fit, eating more colorful fruits and vegetables every day really does matter. Welcome back to Betty. I'm your host, Cynthia Thompson. I'm here with Tony, and he's teaching me so much about real estate that I had no clue about. Now, Tony, when we were on the commercial break, we were talking about all the other things that go into buying and selling and managing real estate. And you had mentioned that the government plays a role in that, too. What role does the government play in this? Every time you drive your car and you drive on a road, mm -hmm. that road, at one point of time, was somebody's property that the government huh. bought through eminent domain uh -huh. to put that road on. Uh -huh. Whether it's a highway, whether it's a bridge, whether it's a sidewalk uh -huh. or a road, that was owned at one point by somebody else. So the government, through eminent domain process, mm -hmm. have the right to go and acquire these properties through negotiation with property owners. So uh, the government plays a very large role in uh -huh. real estate acquisition and economic development. Huh. How, <coughs> affordable housing, uh -huh. that's one of the things that uh, the city been uh, oh, involved yes. in uh, uh, in the last few years, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is a need uh, yes, for the is. city of Charlotte. So we are involved very heavily in mm -hmm. how can we co you know, collaborate and mm -hmm. work with developers mm -hmm. in increasing the level of affordable housing in mm -hmm. Charlotte. Economic development, same way. Uh -huh. You know, how can we put projects where it, it attracts uh, companies to come to Charlotte, huh. uh, attracts, uh, you know, uh, businesses to come uh -huh. to Charlotte. Uh -huh. Charlotte is the home of six headquarter of Fortune 500 companies. Oh, it is? Of course. And I knew about the banks. What are some of the other ones? Lowe's and SPX, a lot of other companies. Six, six, you know, six major companies. But with companies, they bring people because that's the headquarter. When people, people come to Charlotte, they, they, they buy houses. <laughs> they buy houses. They drive on roads. Uh -huh. They send uh, their children to school. Uh -huh. They have par They need parks to play. Uh -huh. All these activities they require municipal government investment huh. in the community. So parks and school and roads and infrastructure uh -huh. and bridges, all that gets developed through municipal government. Wow, you have a tough job very as tough a job. real estate division manager? Very tough job, but it's a very enjoyable job. Uh -huh. I think my job is not really a job. It's a, it's a good job, it's a fun job, uh -huh. but we really contribute to the community yes. because we have our 
uh, you know, with our involvement mm -hmm. in, in, in the processes, whether it's housing, mm -hmm. economic development, infrastructure, public safety, police huh. stations, fire stations, all this require investment from the community, from, from the city. And my team and I, we help with that process. Well, I am just blown away. You are so right. You do do a lot for our city. So, as a division manager, who are some of the types of people you hire to help you make sure the city is a nice city? Well, number one, they have to have the passion for the community. Uh -huh. And they have to have the passion for the real estate business. Uh -huh. Everything else, we can teach them and we can work with them. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for someone who is, one is invested in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. They want to build a better community uh -huh. because that's the business we're in. Right. And obviously, you know, we help them to get the real mm -hmm. estate license and we huh. help them we help them to learn about the business and uh, the most important thing is the passion for real estate. Huh. You know what that said, Tony? Let's take a short break and I got a couple more questions to ask you, okay? Sure. My pleasure. Wow. So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. This is the moment I knew. His future had no boundaries. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Hi, welcome back to Betty. I'm your host, Cynthia Thompson. I'm here with Tony, and we're talking about real estate. Now, Tony, the city of Charlotte, you had shared earlier, is growing and growing, and businesses are coming here. How does the market look moving ahead in real estate for Charlotte? The market is fantastic and uh, we're very bullish about the market and uh -huh. it will continue to be great. Uh, we have all the fundamentals mm -hmm. to have a great city and uh -huh. great economy in Charlotte. Uh -huh. We have great uh, talent mm -hmm. as far as people. We have uh, lower cost of living oh, than yes. many other places mm -hmm. that's comparable on size mm -hmm. like San Francisco or uh, Washington DC mm -hmm. or Chicago. Uh, we have great weather. We can't handle the snow too well. We though. don't have the, we No, don't, we don't have that right. down that, pat yet. But it, <laughs> it comes, uh, it's still much better than other places. Uh, yeah. And we have great, uh, so great climate, great cost of living, great talented people, uh -huh. and um, great people. Mm -hmm. You know, we, the city, of Char the, 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 the people in Charlotte, mm -hmm. they have the right attitude to take the city mm -hmm. into the right place. And that's why we have a lot of people moving here. Yes, and they keep moving here, and you see condos, looks like, or apartments every other corner. Do you think that's going to stop? Well, uh, real estate is cycles. So uh -huh. you always have ups and downs. Uh -huh. As long as in the long term, you're always on the upward, uh, the, the upward mobility. Uh -huh. So things are going in the right direction, uh -huh. as long as you have the right fundamentals. And Charlotte does mm -hmm. have that. And you know, I was just thinking when I, just after I asked that question, people are attracted to Charlotte because they like the city and we have a lot of big events that come here. Sure. Do you think that adds to our growth here, people wanting to move to the city? Absolutely. I meet many people and I'm sure you do mm -hmm. coming, you know, especially from the Midwest, Northeast mm -hmm, area mm -hmm. of the country. And they have reasons. They are tired of mm -hmm. that shoveling snow. They're tired <laughs> of the high taxes. and. Uh, high taxes and the uh, you know uh, uh, what what they deal with in other places. So we have a lot to offer here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So as long as we continue have strong fundamentals, mm -hmm. I'm very bullish about real estate mm -hmm. market in Charlotte. So Tony, um, that another question just popped in my head. 
with all of this growth, do you think it's going to take away from the green space? Like, do we have enough parks here in the city? Well, that is one of the uh, council priority mm -hmm. is to have a sustainable um, environment mm -hmm. within the city of Charlotte. Mm -hmm. So obviously the park business is a county uh -huh. uh, initiated, a county oh, run operation, yeah. but uh, the city also want to invest in smaller parks like uh -huh. pocket parks. Mm -hmm. We also invest in preservation of land that has trees on it. Good. So in my role we acquire many acreage to preserve trees. Mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm. last year, we acquired about 200 acres Good. just to preserve trees so uh, we, we can have the green space. Yes. Uh, Charlotte, many people don't know, but we have almost 48% of our land mass is covered by trees. We are number uh, two in the nation after Atlanta uh -huh. uh, as far as trees covered covered a uh, land mass. Uh -huh. So we are fortunate, uh -huh, we uh -huh. are lucky, and many people, I, I meet many people all the time, they want to come to Charlotte, they, they, but they want to stay because how beautiful it is. It is a beautiful and city. And we want to keep it that way mm -hmm. by preserving trees, mm -hmm. which helps water quality, air mm -hmm. quality, is good for the environment, mm -hmm. and most of all, is beautiful. It really is. Yes. You know, a lot of times when I travel and I fly into Charlotte and see yes. just all the green space, it's so pretty, and I hope Absolutely. that we keep that. I think that's uh, one of, as I mentioned, one of the council goals, mm -hmm. and one of the, the Queen City mm -hmm. trademark is mm -hmm. having green space, mm -hmm. and we hope that will continue. You know, Tony, we're almost out of time, but I do want to ask you one more important question. What advice would you give someone that's thinking about going into real estate? What would you tell that person? Well, number one, you have to go into the business for the right reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, many people say, well, you know, real estate, money, I want to make more money. Right. But that will come, that will come, it will take time. But the most important thing, you have to have the passion mm -hmm. you have uh, for the business and for learning. Uh -huh. Because there are a lot to learn. And I see professionals who have been in the business for 30 years, 40 years. And they tell me, Tony, we're still learning. Because as the market changes, as uh, the city grows and they see things that maybe they have not experienced. Uh -huh. So you have to have the passion for learning mm -hmm. uh, and uh, passion for people. Because mm -hmm. real estate is the business of people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, so you have to be able to be comfortable dealing with people, dealing with numbers, mm -hmm. and you have to be passionate about the business. You know, Tony, thank you so much for coming on my show. I've learned a lot from you today. My pleasure, anytime. You know, I thought real estate was just buying and selling a house. But Invite me again. I'll oh, yes. I'll talk oh, more yes. about it. <laughs> oh, yes. You have to come back. At my pleasure. Sure. As the city is growing, because I will have more questions for you. I look forward to it. Okay. Thank you, Tony. Uh-huh. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my show, A Better You, here on Public Access 21, every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you.